Today, on Be Something Wonderful, revising undesired past events, Ben's reality, and all time. I am your host, Tom Kieran, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Big video this morning. This comes from a session I had yesterday with a client, and this was the second time I talked with her. The first time, she had been going out with this guy now for a while, and she's a nurse, and he travels a lot. So when they do get to see the, each other, it's special. And they went to this new restaurant, and, uh, and, and she just got triggered. A, um, uh, an old girlfriend that he's often talked about, that, that they're actually great friends now. And, and, but, but she happened to be at that restaurant, and they ran into her. And she just, for some reason, she, she had met her before. There was no big deal, but for some reason that evening, she made it a big deal. They got into uh, an argument. He said some things that hurt her. She said some things that hurt him. And now, and, and, and of course, they haven't, been, they haven't talked since. Now she, she goes back to that restaurant with her friends, and she felt triggered all over again. She goes, Tom, I haven't heard from him, and, and we've exchanged a few texts, and, but, but nothing big, and, and, and I'm, I'm, I just can't get over this event. So guys, I want to talk about this today and more, because this is what we had talked about, and this is what she did. She revised it, but I want to talk about, because she goes, should I revise it or just imagine I'm with them? And all of those questions come up, came up. And I want to talk about what, what she actually did do. It's really revising it, but, but from the perspective of imagining a future event and then looking back on that undesired event differently. We're gonna, this is powerful. This is really next level revision. And, and Neville talks about this in his teachings as well. So let's lay the groundwork here. A big fight. They're blaming each other. Haven't talked for nearly two months. I felt triggered and sad when I was out with friends at the same restaurant. Okay, so she's been imagining them together, but it just hasn't, she hasn't gotten anywhere. She's still feeling these events, right? So what happened? Well, we create, she created a scene, right? She created a scene of, of that, of, of a future event, them out to dinner. Hear this, them out to dinner, but remembering their first time at that restaurant and how wonderful it was and how fun it was and that they went out after and they had fun. And she created this idea that they went out to an arcade and played games. So she created a, so here's the scene. She created the marginal scene, quote, in the future with this person, with this, her old boyfriend, right? At the same restaurant that they went for the first time and the last time, because they haven't been back together, where they had the fight. So she's creating a scene that they're back at the restaurant again, and they're remembering their first time there, that it wasn't a big fight right? It, it was a talk about how wonderful it was and how special it was. And it's so great to be back there. Do you feel the power of this? Using I remember when with the power of an imaginal scene as well in the future. It bends all reality, it moves you to a new timeline. So you're going to go, well, Tom, what happened? Well, he did reach out and, and he wants to get together to, to have a drink, to get something to eat, to quote, clear the air. That's what we know right now. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, when she checks back, but that's big. Why? What happened? It's not exactly, right now it's not the, the same restaurant. None of that's important. It moved her to a timeline that opened up the whole potential of them together again in a new reality, a new timeline. I'm going to show you this. So this is the awesome power of revision. I remember when in the imaginal scenes. It doesn't just change how you see or think about the past. Hear this. It changes all time. It changes the past, present, and future. It puts you in a completely different reality, a new version of yourself, new timeline. No matter whether you're remembering the past, hear this today, thinking about the present, or imagining the future, you're imagining and creating it right now. And furthermore, whether you're remembering the past, thinking in the present 
or imagining the future, you're imagining the past. It's all the past. Remember that I've talked about in another video, creation's finished. You're, you're, when you're remembering the past, you're remembering the past past. When you're thinking about the present, you're thinking about the past present. When you're imagining the future, you're imagining the past future. It's all done. All possibilities exist. You get to choose. So remember, whenever you're remembering something, you're just imagining. Remember, memory is an imaginal scene. That's all memory is. And all memories exist. All possibilities exist. You just keep remembering the one that, that feels more real to you, right? The one where you feel that physical experience. But remember, you've had all experiences. You've had all potentials. You've lived them all and you're still living them and they're still happening. So let's get to this. I, I want to say that there are no problems in the present moment, just love, just pure positive potential. This is what we started with, just to warm her up. <laughs> There's no problems when you're in the present, in the pure present moment, right? In, in that we're all the, remember, all the, the Seth and Jane Roberts, right? Set the Seth material. He always went back to the point of power is the present moment. The point of power is the present moment. All the ancients say it. Eckhart Tolle, all, even the current modern teachers, all the, they all say the same thing. The point of power is in the present because that's where all potential is. That's where ultimate reality is. There is no past or future. And so when you're in your mind, you're in the past, right? Conjuring up scenes and, and, and things, right? The only problem you have is a memory problem, right? And I wanted to get back to that. I've talked about this in several videos. You can look them up. Uh, on the, on the, and if I can find one, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely uh, link it. But I've talked about Solaris and, and the, the, idea of, um, uh, the idea that Chris Calvin, his, his, his wife, right, that um, died by suicide and be, because they had a big fight and then she died by suicide. And, and he, goes, he goes on a space station Right, that's orbiting the planet Solaris. Solaris is this light, is this, is this planet that's a light source. It represents your higher self. Right? It represents the divinity or God. And, he's, and that light source brings all your unconscious thoughts, immediately manifest them so you can bring them to your awareness, you can bring them to light. And so he sees his, his wife that, that died by suicide on, uh, on the space station Solaris as he sleeps. Right? Because all unconscious thoughts come to awareness immediately so you can heal them, so you can bring them to light in this, in this planet. So, and then, it, 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 so there's a bunch of, you should see the movie, it goes through, it goes through a lot there, but he, when he gets, when he thinks he's back on Earth, right, he goes, but I was haunted by the idea that I remembered her wrong and somehow I was wrong about everything. In other words, all memories are, are mental images. There are imaginal acts and scenes that you are creating and recreating in the moment. And he, furthermore, they're all partial memories. They're all partial images, right? We've talked about this. We only see, we even remember only a point less than 0.0001% of ultimate reality of what the real picture is. So we're always having partial perception. Either we're remembering it, we're imagining it, or, or living it, but we're seeing, we're, it's, a, it's a partial view of all there is. That's why he says, I remembered her wrong. Somehow I was wrong about everything. That's powerful. All memories are mental images. They are imaginal acts and scenes that you're creating and recreating right now in this moment. They don't exist when you don't put your light on them. That's the power of I remember when. That's the power of revision going back and revising because you can create a new image, a new imaginal scene in quote, what we think is the linear past. But it's all happening right now. That's why you can do it. That's why you can go anywhere, right? You can go anywhere in awareness. You can go anywhere in your mind. It's beyond time and space. It's not linear like we've said with the Deep Space Nine video, right? It's not linear. If it, right, you can go anywhere in your mind. So all memories, mental images, are partial perceptions of all that is. A mere 0.0001% of the divine potential of which you are made and from where you come. Of all creation, of all there is, of all that is. Right? That's why Chris says from Solaris, 
I remembered her wrong. Somehow I was wrong about everything. Because he was only remembering that, less, that partial perception. And that's not what, that, repre that just represents your, your bias and your, and, your, and your partial view of things, your partial judgment of reality, right? It's all a dream. It's all imagination. So it makes no sense, hear this, to focus on unwanted images, whether they appear as past memory or future memory. You're always remembering the past, creation's finished. Whether you're imagining the future, and imagining seeing the future, or remembering the past, or just sitting there thinking, dwelling in the present, it's all the past. Creation's done, right? It, ultimate reality is happening right now. Creation was one moment, right? <laughs> this is big. So, no matter what happens in the course of a day, revise it. This is Neville Goddard. Make the day conform to what you want it to be, and you're walking on water. He talks about revision right? Revise events. See them how you would have liked them to be. See them how you would have liked them to unfold, no matter what happens. Always see the ideal how you would have liked it. That's the power, because remember, that image, that memory doesn't exist unless you recreate it in the moment. So you can revise it. That's next level. level. Revising it, recreating the entire image in this moment. Remember, it doesn't just change. It's not a theoretical change where you're just looking at the past differently. Therefore, it changes your present and future. You change the past. You quantum leap to a new timeline that has a new present and a new future and a new past, right? That's what we're talking about here. Um, uh, so, so whether it's a day, a week, a month, a year, or a lifetime, you can remember it right, right? Remember what Chris, Dr. Chris Kelvin said, I remembered her wrong. You can remember it right. What does that mean? That's righteousness from the Bible. Right mind, meaning you're according to your ideal, according to how you would like to, seeing it through the eyes of love and not lack. Seeing it through the eyes of love and not fear. That's remembering it right, right? Neville Goddard uh, asked, tells us, prove your thoughts have created power by consciously imagining by consciously imagining constantly. I love that quote. Consciously imagining constantly. You're constantly imagining. You're either imagining a past and recreating that imaginal past, that image, that memory, that mental image, or you're imagining fear of the future. You're imagining something that happening in the future or something good in the future. It could be whatever you're focused on, but you're creating it now in that present moment, right? The whole world, all realities, all versions of yourself are memories. Mental images to be remembered or allowed to dissolve back into infinite potential. To be remembered as an imaginal act, a mental, it's an imaginal act of a past event, but we said everything's right now. Or to, or to just, to pull your light from, to pull your awareness from and let it dissolve back into potential. It's still there. It's still there for you to activate or put your light on, but, but now you're no longer doing it. You're, you're deciding on a new past, right? So, so here we are. Here's, a, here's how I've presented light. As you guys know, if you've been watching me a while, you know I, I do these sort of timelines. But remember, it's not even parallel. It's all within you. It's all superimposed, right? They're not even separate. They're all one through this viewpoint of your 3D reality. But you've got the past past, the past, present, and the past, future. Why? Because creation's finished. So all those timelines, although they have a linear, when, when, we're, when we're living them, experiencing them in 3D reality, they have a, we, have, we see them through the 3D senses or through linear, a linear experience. But they're all happening right now and they're all the past. Your past frame, the blue is your current frame, your, what you're seeing right now in your reality, and then you have your future frames. So whether you're remembering the past, thinking about the present or imagining the future, remembering this, thinking about this, or imagining the future, you're creating and imagining the past potential that becomes your life experience in the present moment. Do you see it? So whatever you're remembering, it, if you're on a timeline and you keep remembering the past events of that timeline, that's the timeline you'll stay on, or a similar timeline with those past events. But if you start remembering these past events differently, that moves you 
to a new timeline because you're imagining that differently. You're imagining it here that that's different. And that moves you to a new timeline. That's why Neville's revision, I remember when, and imagining a future scene are so powerful. All images, memories, thoughts, imaginal future scenes are the same. Creations finish. All of them are the same. And furthermore, they're all partial perceptions of reality. But if you're gonna, but if you're gonna have a partial perception of reality, why not make it your ideal? If you're going to have a fragmented view of God, a fragmented view of ultimate reality, why not, why not make it your ideal, knowing that you are God, that you are one with God, that you are that wholeness, and you're deciding what part of that wholeness, what part of God that you want to experience now? Because God's all it is. What part of all it is do you want to experience now? You're a fully evolved being. I've often said this, right? And deciding what part of your evolution that you want to experience right now. You've already experienced it all, but what do you want to remember, right? Because that's what it really is. It's remembering who you really are, remembering what you've already, already exists, what you've already lived, will live, and have lived, and, and, and did live, and, and all of that. It's all now, right? So try this. Try this. Uh, so take a simple past event that you would have liked to have unfolded differently. Remember it as you would have liked it to unfold. But do it from a new future imaginal scene. Do you see it? So here you are. Here's, here's the client. Let's use the client's example or like her, her example. You have a dinner date that went wrong. That's a, a past event on this timeline and this reality that you're living. Here you are in the present frame running into all sorts of things that remind you of that memory and you keep remembering it, right? And then so you, so you, so, so you keep creating a future like the past, not with him, but remembering that fight, remembering that. Instead now, while you're on this timeline, when I, do I remember when? Remember, create a future imaginal scene where you're remembering the first time that you had dinner together. In fact, the dinner didn't go wrong, it was magical. So you're creating a magical scene here about a past event. I remember when, that when we first went to this restaurant, but the imaginal scene is you're at the restaurant with him or whatever, whatever your magical scene is. In this case, it's her and him. She's remembering that they're at, back at the restaurant the second time. They've never been there a sec twice. And she's remembering the first time that they were there. She's creating it anew, right? What does that do? That changes Ben's time. That moves you to a timeline where that past event was fun. The first time you had dinner was fun. And now you're, gonna, now you're in the present moment where they're going to get together. They're going to have a drink and have something to eat. And they're going to talk. That's what it is. And now you're on a whole new timeline. And as you keep imagining it, because she, she adds, well, what do I do now? I go, keep imagining it, right? Don't, don't stop, right? Because, you know, they keep moving on that, keep moving timelines. That's powerful. This really is, guys, what, what we've been talking about. This is revising undesired past events, Ben's reality in all time. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and sharing the videos. Also, thank you for considering joining our, our membership channel. There's a join link below. There'll be more uh, coming there. There'll also be some live streams on the membership channel and the public channel uh, coming up. We're starting in just the very preliminary stages, but they're coming. Um, also, uh, you can visit us on our Instagram and, and Twitter at Tom Karen. We have a Facebook group at uh, facebook.com slash groups slash be something wonderful. They're called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors and you can share insight and guidance with others or ask for insight and guidance. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful Studio of Higher Consciousness where we help you le level up <laughs> and become the best version of yourself. With great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, creators, see you soon.